was like about half past five, whatever morning it was. So I was here in my door when he barked and barking. But it was it was not bark like if somebody came in the yard, it was just this a barking like something happened. Right. So I looked out, I see the dog there normal, so I didn't go downstairs. So after about half hour, I went downstairs to put them away and I saw the bird hang up on this twine or whatever it is mm -hmm. between our house and the neighbors are scaffolding. So I said, well, how again this, you know, what to do? So I ran upstairs and started to call all over, call zoo, call here, call wherever to try and get somebody that could come and at least help to save it. I went and got this, this thing that we used to, um, to pick mangoes. Yeah. And because it was on our guttering, the stick was um, long enough that I, I caught him. And when I put it. held on to it, it, that's how the string was then. Oh. And it went to the neighbor's yard. So that's when we got Ricardo. And I talked to him about it, and he said he will come, but he needs permission to go into the people's yard. So when I went to court and I asked her, she said, yes, so that comes, I guess that's when you came and you were in the yard. We were so happy because at least we saved the owl. Yeah. So that was the main intention so to get the owl. So the owl's name is Harry. <laughs> Harry the owl. Harry, Harry the barn owl. Harry, Harry the barn owl. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, it had a strain. Wow. Right. Okay, see, I have a camera again. Wow. He's ready to go. Hungry. That's how we like our animals to be. We don't want them to come by anybody and say, give me food. We want them to hate people and stay away from eating. Wow. All the way here to turn almost all the way around. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. That's a big thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. They have the softest feathers of any bird yeah. because they fly totally silent. The only birds that can fly silent. I'm sure you've probably heard hummingbirds before bzz, 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 and making yeah. noise. Yeah. These because they have to sneak up on mice who have subsonic hearing. They have to fly totally silent. The feathers are very soft. The feathers are also curved. So they sort of caress the air and get lift. So they literally sneak up on mice from the air and grab them and take off. So their feathers are very, very soft as a result. All right. So what we're going to do is just decide which side we want to cast them off to. And we line up. So what I'm going to do is we do a one, two, three. And when it takes off, everybody cheers. All right. Everybody get behind me. With the shorty ones in the front first, of course. Just get close up. All right. One more time. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Right. So, Kishan, what are we going to do? Yeah. Is um, I'm actually going to throw the owl towards you. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Okay. And Should everybody, on the three is when I'm going to release the owl. And when he takes off, we're going to cheer him on. Yeah. And he wants to kill me now, which is wonderful. That's how we want it to be. Of course, when we thought we were done for the night, something else popped up. So this is the much fabled Zanji, the um, 
the, 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 the creature that allegedly sucks on your toes when you step into canals and so on. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that is uh, not true. Um, it is actually a fish. What kind of fish? It's an eel. So it's not a snake. It's a fish. It has gills, but it's an eel, just like the moray eels. In fact, in the U.S., they call it the freshwater, the tropical freshwater moray. And you have various colors from this sort of golden color all the way to very dark and black, depending on the environment it was found in. It blends in.